why am I drawn to blue bags today? I usually don't like blue at all. It needs a bit more attention. Yeah, this one needs more attention. <laughs> Pochette Metis with the little dots. Tiny little on the go with the little dots. Yeah, very psychedelic. Et voila, here we are with the little fish bag. This is a little bird on it. It's so beautifully embroidered, but it's really nice. Isn't it? What do we think about this new Chanel bag? Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is still the same grey, cold, miserable day in London. <laughs> if you haven't seen Wednesday's video yet, go and check it out. Um, we looked at all the little pre lab shops and I think we saw some amazing eye candy. So today I would say let's go into Harrods. Um, here in weeks and as you can see they have the Louis Vuitton Kusama bags everywhere I think they have a little pop-up shop also guys because it's a new year I would really love to know what's on your wish list for 2023 what bags do you definitely want to get uh, yeah let me know let's go to designer exchange it's literally around the corner from my visa if you're in London guys here we are designer exchange and a little bit more of London. Let's already have a quick look um, what they have in the window display. Look at this. This looks like new, right? Beautiful dark green Christian Dior book tote. And it's circa 800 pounds below the retail price. That's awesome. Look at this reissue. That's a beauty. The multicolor Louis Vuitton. Okay, let's go in and have a look what they have today. We are here at Designer Exchange. And because we haven't been here in a while, they have so many new pieces as well. Oh, okay. Have a look. So look at this beautiful this little LED view, oh, oh, and there's the price. Um, it's always so great that we can see immediately how these pieces, how much these pieces cost. So okay. Beautiful pink Lady Dior. Lots of Lady Dior's actually. This bag is still available guys. Like does it scream my name? How many times have I already thought about getting this? Because it's such a special piece with the little yeah, snakes so there. It's the Dior Samurai yeah, bag. Um, it's a vintage so piece as well. I don't know if I should get it. Why is it still there? <laughs> Let me know if you think it should belong in my crazy and weird collection. <laughs> Okay, so, and look at this, this is an exotic Lady Dior, two grand only, that's crazy, so, yeah, beautiful backpack, look at that from the Egyptian collection as well, we've seen so many Egyptian collection pieces today, um, and I don't know why guys, I always say this, I feel they're gonna reissue this bag at some point, um, yeah. Now you can get it for a really good price. I don't know why, it's always been just a feeling. I feel one day they're gonna reissue this one because it was so popular in the past. And okay, more Chanel. Another beautiful Gabrielle, but that's the size that I already have. More medallion totes. Oh, the pre-love totes have so many medallion totes. I can't believe it. Okay, so there we have another Egyptian collection piece. And this one is still available. Mm -hmm. This is like a watercolor um, Chanel bag, gorgeous. I think this is a double flap, yeah. So it looks like a normal vintage classic flap bag, right? But it's not because this one, believe it or not, <laughs> it looks the same from both sides. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay, so more Chanel. I like this one beautiful black patent and for all you MS lovers look at that they still have the so black um, Birkin 35 25k I think that's quite a good price for 35 in black box cap and black hardware okay more oh, this is relatively new right I think it only came out recently um, there we have another alligator and Lots of Gucci, lots and lots and lots of Gucci. This little one, they even made one in exotics, a little mamor. Okay, so Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Um, anything, oh, this is a dentel. So I really wanted to have a speedy dentel, but with the gold threading. I always looked on Fashion File, you know, sometimes they pop up. They have a micro um, Fendi Picaboo as well. Chloe, more Gucci, oh, a Nano um, bucket bag and a big Chanel travel bag. Look at this one, 
that is a really nice vintage find as well. Same as the Chanel bag, you know, and it's very understated, isn't it? Um, I love it. Get a close up of this bag. So as you can see, it's a suede leather bag and then you have this beautiful lace, um, you know, on top and the little beads. How gorgeous is this? This is a masterpiece, you know, you really need to look close to see how beautiful it is. So yeah, I thought let's try this one on. Okay, so here we are with the little um, Lady Dior Mini and it is gorgeous, right? Why, do, why am I drawn to blue bags today? I usually don't like blue at all <laughs> when it comes to handbags. Maybe because it's on the grayish side. Um, yeah, that's a nice one, isn't it? Here we are with the Chanel Mademoiselle bag. And like I said, I don't know why. I really, really think one day in the future I might be right because this bag gets reissued. <laughs> I just have a feeling. It's just a weird feeling, but sometimes, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so it's gorgeous, it's tweed, and you know, it held up pretty well, right? Uh, looks like new almost. I love that this one comes with antique gold hardware because many of these bags came with silver hardware. And here, this is the pink medallion tote, vintage Chanel medallion tote. And they are really cool. I think this is a good like everyday bag where you don't really need to worry about your bag. You know, like if the weather is like today where it's gray and raining and miserable, that's the bag for days like this. <laughs> so um, yeah, I like it. And it's caviar leather and it's vintage so it's good quality i mean it held up so so many years and look at this there's no corner wear. okay there's a little bit of scratches right there but i mean it's at the back i never really care how my bags look like at the back <laughs> to be honest <laughs> if they look good at the front that's all that counts for me um so <laughs> let's have a close up at this Italian. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, get this. They have one of the teeny tiny little hard bags as well. You know, it's so difficult to get one. Yeah, these, um, these are the small leather goods. Size 40, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd never get a 40. Okay, yeah. Funny, no, we have two. There's the, oh, uh, oh, another special order. Oh, no, that's a 40, yes, yes, yeah. And also, we have a, a vintage Constance from 1980. Do you want to get it out? Yes, let's have a look at it. Okay. This needs a bit more attention. Anyway. Yeah, this one needs more attention. <laughs> it demands I'll show, attention. I'll show you. So, um, people who know, they know the horse yes. mark is for a. Mm -hmm. um, I can show you if you want. Yeah, so let's have a look at the horse stamp, of course. Um, this is a special order, guys. It's a big, big bag. It's a Birkin 40. I've actually, I think, never tried on a Birkin 40. Uh, and they actually have two. So the orange one is a size 40 as well. This green is so beautiful, right? Okay, there we are. There we have the horse shoe stamp. And yeah, it's mud alligator. Oh. Crocodile, mud crocodile, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, guys, let's have a look at this one. Wow, okay, this is the biggest <laughs> Birkin I have ever seen. Do people use this for travel? It's Probably, right? For traveling. I'm yeah. An amazing amount fits in yeah. there. Yeah, 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 um, but it's already heavy. Like, I can't imagine once you pack it up, right? Exactly. <laughs> you need somebody to carry it for yeah. you. This is. An interesting combination, right? And the inside, guys, is actually green as well. So we have green piping, green um, handles, and the interior, as you can see, is green as well. And should we have a look at this beauty? This is a really nice green. I think it's very subtle. It's very, the back is quite understated, isn't it? You see the beautiful Togo leather there with the lines. I love this one. If you look close, it is not the shiny silver hardware. It is actually stainless steel. Goes really well with this. Looks beautiful. I look at this Constance 18. It is from 1982? 1982. 1982. And look at the beautiful box cuff leather. It has aged beautifully. Yeah, that's quality, huh? When it just lasts. The true evidence of their box leather. Yeah, wow. Let's have a look inside. It comes with the old dust bag as well. And let's have a look at the stamp. So beautiful. Here we are with the vintage Constance. Oh, it is so beautiful, right? I've never really considered a Constance, but it is a very pretty bag. If you have a Constance bag, let me know if you like it. Um, does it a lot fit in here, I wonder, you know? Um, I know they come in like a bigger size as well. Never really tried on a Constance, guys. 
um, so we have the Picotin 18, uh -huh. small size, which is in Lucky Daisy. Oh, Lucky Daisy. The color would be chai, rose, and black. Amazing. And I've only recently seen this, right, in Harris. Yes. So it's, it's a really new bag. Yeah, yes, in, nice. Um, Palladium hardware. Yeah, and it's 3,500 3, pounds. 3,500 pounds. Amazing. Yes, hardly ever been used. Yeah. It's beautiful. Coming it's into absolute. summer, mm -hmm. it would be an amazing addition yeah. to anybody's um, wardrobe. It's got feet, that's really important as well. Feet still have the stickers on. <laughs> oh, wow. So, totally new yes. store fresh hey guys so here we are with a little picotine and it is i think a really good everyday bag as well where you can just throw everything in you know and you're good to go um like i said it's store fresh it's new it's even still got the stickers on i really like the daisy print let's also have a quick look at this window display because there we can already see some of the louis vuitton pieces and this one too like the travel section. So look at that, Louis Vuitton, Kusama, little pop-up shop here in Harrods. I love how these sales associates are dressed <laughs> with their little dots. Hiya, can I have a look around? Okay, so look at this. Pochette Miti with the little dots, tiny little on the go with the little dots. It's cute. Like now seeing all of this together, it is kind of cute. <laughs> it's very psychedelic, isn't it? So here we have a nice cup of scene and yeah, very psychedelic. Oh wow, and look at this cun bag with the huge silver studs. The shoes that go so well with it, little Alma bag. That's actually quite cool. And Louis Vuitton in Harrods. So these are more of the Kusama pieces. I have to be honest with you guys. I would not spend my money on these pieces. Let me know if they convinced you. Did you get anything from this collection? Um, yeah, <laughs> not really for me. Um, I would prefer like a classic capucine instead of something like this. Look at this, so you can get your trunks customized. Uh, How yeah. stunning is that? Hi! So do you do the in-house customization here? Yes, that's wow. a, we personalize our trunks here. So uh -huh. all the classic wooden boxes, we can hand paint on top of yeah. them. And as before, they were doing stripes and initials, uh -huh. classic for Louis Vuitton. Right now, we can, they got us professional artists and we can deliver amazing, like as you wow. see, like pieces of art. Oh, I would say sky is the limit. Yeah, that is incredible. How long does it take you? Well, this, this painting, I'm almost finished. Uh -huh. I'm almost, almost finished, and it's like it was one week I painted it because one week on the painting on the dark background, yeah. you have to build the layers of the paint to like for the colors to stand out. Of course. But then it depends on the project. It depends yeah. Depends on the oh, size. Oh wow! I mean, I don't even want to imagine how long something like this takes. That was more than a month. Oh wow! <laughs> more than a month. That's incredible. Yeah, I'm very pop art contemporary. Like, yeah. Um, so you see. Stunning. But then we can paint, you know, from flowers, oh, yeah. puppies. <laughs> puppies as well. Oh, yeah. where are the puppies? Yeah. Do we have them here? Well, I don't, I don't paint puppies, ah, but okay. then I got two other artists that paint beautiful ah. puppies and they specialize in like, they inspired with nature. So. Oh, okay. Wow. Really beautiful. That's stunning with a little Vivian. Thank you. Here, I have a couple more of the classic canvas pieces. Ooh, this is nice as well. This bachetta leather is almost white, guys. Um, a big bucket bag. The classic never full. So this Kusama version actually has a red interior. And as you can see, it has the dots there as well. Classic Dauphine, and that's the Kusama Dauphine. And the classic and the Kusama Alma. Capucine. So that's a very special one. This one comes in pink as well. Um, this is so beautiful with the little hardware bits. I really want a mini capucine um, after adding my capucine MM. Just don't know which one yet. Little look, sneaky look into Hermes. There we can see. Can I focus on that? A crocodile, shiny red crocodile bracket. But as we know, they're never available for sale. <laughs> Always just on display. Ooh. Let's look at these Bottega bags. This is the first time that I'm actually seeing this fish bag, let's call it fish bag, um, from Bottega in reality. It's nice. It hasn't totally convinced me online on the pictures on Instagram and stuff, but it has something and we know I love bags with special handles, right? Et voila, here we are with a little fish bag. <laughs> So it's quite cool and actually the brown chocolate color, I 
really like it. I'm surprised. And I just wonder how would you wear it? Just like this. But in summer, I don't know if that would hurt on your arm, you know? Because um, I don't think these bags come with a strap. Not sure, but I don't think so. So this is the handle. It's like hammered. Can you see that? It looks like it's dented, but it's purposefully done like that, obviously. Gives it a little antique vibe and you don't need to be too careful with this <laughs> and this is the black version in comparison obviously because i wear a black coat now this one whoop, it's a mirror <laughs> somebody comes out there obviously this one doesn't pop as well against my black coat but i like them i thought i wanted to get a jody in the small size no sorry the teen size but this is a cool bag as well is this something for my collection? Let me know. Some good shiggy guys. And um, these bags are new. Well, I think they were vintage pieces and they kind of reissued them and redesigned them a little bit with a GG logo. And yeah, it's quite cool. I like this little strawberry. But I think actually this version, even though it's the same bag, it just has a different uh, strap and handle. It cost like 500 pounds more. These bags are new as well with the horseshoe uh, hardware and they're tiny. This is a Himalayan Gucci bag. <gasps> wow. Gucci. I just had to show you this dress. <laughs> uh huh. That's why I love Gucci. Here you are, guys. And so this is a really beautiful pink. But what I really like is this book toad. Yeah, that's a nice one with this floral print. So they have the light Lady Dior as well in the same print. And in blue. Wow, look at this. So this is definitely a new piece as well. I like it. Same one in white. Nice color. Another book toad. Yeah, we've recently seen this bag already. It's like a hobo Dior bag, but it's really nice. I like this, even though it's a red bag. <laughs> this is a new book toad as well. I look how beautifully this is. Soon, stunning. Lots of teeny tiny little micro Dior bags. This one's new as well. Oh wow. That is gorgeous too. And look at this little shiny one. Ooh. <laughs> and that book too is really nice as well. Anyone in the market for crocodile pieces or well exotics in general? And now let me show you something really special. So I've shown you these just before Christmas. Um, they release these micro bags uh, and they come actually in this box. So when you buy this, you get the entire embroidered box. Um, they only released a very limited number of these artworks. So, I mean, look at this. This is a little bird on it. It's so beautifully embroidered, wow. And the box, of course, you know, you can use that as a jewelry box if you ask me. Really stunning. This is a new uh, Dior model. I don't actually know the name of this bag. If you do, let us know in the comment section down below. So look at these as well, how beautifully embroidered they are and oh, wow. Okay, so Dior really knows how to create artworks. They actually have a lot of pieces that catch my attention today, right? Absolutely gorgeous and even this is not printed on, can you see that? Absolutely. I mean, it's a masterpiece if you think about how they make those bags. This book tour is actually growing on me. I mean, I know I don't own a single red bag, but it has something, right? Yeah, so here we are with the book tour. Uh, this is a large one. I don't know if they make this one in the size small. Um, it's a big bag. I always say that. It's For traveling, it's perfect. Um, but as an everyday bag, like if I would ever add a book to it, I think it would be the size small. For any book to it lovers out there, let me know what your preferred size is and how your bags are wearing. Because obviously these are fully made out of fabric. There's no leather, nothing. But it's really nice, isn't it? 
far right back. Hmm. Look at these Himalayan saddlebags. Um, really stunning. Lots of Himalayan pieces everywhere, right? So Dior is doing it for a while. Um, we've just seen one at Gucci as well. We have a quick look into the Chanel window display as well, guys. So here we have the little uh, tennis bag again. Pink and in white. Nice treats. And there's the big tennis bag. <laughs> so I said that last time I really like this white lace with the CC logo there. Pretty. And they have lots of Chanel jumpsuits in this collection. I love jumpsuits, so yay. Beautiful cruise dress with a little Chanel bag there that says Coco. What do we think about this new Chanel bag? I like the leather. Um, it has like a patent shine, right? It's not really patent, but it's pretty, but the back, I don't know. More Chanel. This little cube I already noticed last time. And I really like the black and white. Little patent bag. And this one here is new as well. One more addition. Wow. Okay, so this bag, I saw it online. And I somehow assumed it's a medium classic flap, but it's actually tiny. Can we see this? It is absolutely tiny, but it's so beautiful with the pink tweed and then the metal. But these bags, they are so, 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 so expensive. It's probably like 10K, um, maybe even more. Walking past Balmain and guys, look at this jacket. It's actually on sale. So stunning. My favorite areas in Harrods, evening wear, where they have the most beautiful dresses and of course, lots of Judith Leiber bags. Look at this, look at the little unicorn, I love it. And an apple. A croissant, anyone? Little Hello Kitty chocolate bar. I think I saw a bunny as well. Look at this little bunny, how cute. You know, they cost around five, six thousand pounds. Um, but obviously on the pre love market you can get them for a lot cheaper. That was it for today. Uh, I think we saw a lot. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag of this family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. Yes, we do. And I see you again very, very soon, guys. Bye.